Now let's practice looping through lists. We recall the for loop for i in range 4. And I could say uh, print students i. So what's going to happen here is we're going to loop four times and the first value of i, if you recall in the previous video, starts off at zero. Computers like to start counting at zero, not one. It's going to print students zero. Student zero would be Obama. Students one would be Bush. Students two would be Carter. And students three would be Harper. So let's, let's try this. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it. Obama, Bush, Carter, Harper. So it did it as I, as I expected. <clears throat> Just as a little refresher, if I wanted to print them manually, I could say print students zero, which would print Obama, print students one, which would print Bush, print students two, which would be Carter, and print students three, which would be Harper. This should also work. Let's run the module same result. Now let's go back to where we were before. It's going to undo here a couple times. And I want to show you a better way of doing this. Now the problem with this is if I were to add another person um, just a person I'm not sure if I typed that correctly but let me uh, run this We only have the first four people, one, two, three, four. And in the list of students, we have five students. We're missing Reagan. Now, this is why there's a better way to create four loops. Rather than hard coding, rather than just typing in the number, although it's short and sweet, it's better to use uh, the function called length, the length of the actual list, which is students. This is better code. It may seem longer, but in the long run, it saves you time. The function len returns the length of students, which is now automatically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is great because now when I run it, We have one, two, three, four, all five students displayed. And if you were to add another uh, student, you don't, ha you no longer have to manually change the number five to number six. And especially in the case where you have many for loops throughout your code, especially if you have thousands or hundreds of thousands of lines of code. So let me just. Uh, add that in and run it one more time. You automatically print out all your students. Congratulations, you just learned a good programming practice. Uh, this is what's going to help you uh, save time in the future. Congratulations.